Parents, anger can cause you to do crazy things. I've been arguing with my parents a lot with this, and it's not every now and then. It's like every day because I would always think I'm right. I'll get mad at them easily, and sometimes I don't want to be at home. I rather be at school because I usually get sent to my room or get grounded. Then I can't do any, any, anything but fall asleep or stay up for a while, as my mom says. I noticed this change in me when my two sisters left home and went to Ohio. I was angry because they left us and ignored, and now ignore all of us. They have blocked my parents from everything. Although we are praying for them, we still feel hurt. Sometimes hurt can turn to anger. Exodus 20, 12. Honor your father and mother, she may live long in the land that your Lord your God has given you. I, I know my parents get really annoyed with me, especially since they send me to my room a lot. And I feel really annoyed too. I should start praying for that help, for help in that area. I should ask for forgiveness and repent. Jesus says, but I tell you, don't be angry with anyone. If you are angry with others, you will be judged. And if you insult someone, the highest court will judge you. And if you call you so call someone a fool, you'll be danger of the fire of hell. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Proverbs nineteen eleven. Good sense makes one slow to anger and is going to overlook an offense. First Samuel twenty one six. And thus shall greet him, peace be. <coughs> to you and peace be to your house and peace be to all that you have let's pray dear god sometimes i imagine you were up there in heaven thinking how many times do i have to tell him slash her please forgive me my lack of intelligence in the following of your directions i ask that you will give me a humble obedient spirit that desires your command please help us not disobey our parents amen